now we will learn merging of two arrays into another array we have two processes one by one we will learn both of the two processes process one see here first we will take the input of two arrays for example suppose first integer first array is uh, six elements it is having and second array is having four elements so first you take six elements for first array that is here and then four elements for second array okay that means 10 10 elements we are having that means we have to create another array that is suppose r where we have to store 10 elements so we have to create 10 elements array now first what we will do we will store the first six elements in the new array that is r so pi equals to pr i equals to pi okay one by one it will store in r that is 0 to 5 and then what will happen uh, till now we have done up to 5 0 to 5 then here j plus 6 we will start that is j value is 0 0 plus 6 is 6 so so that q0 will store in r6 and then q1 will store in r7 and so on it will store and then print the merged array here 0 to less than 10 that is the first process now we will learn the second process so for second process we are having one formula or one uh, uh, function that is called array copy function that is system dot array copy in system dot array copy we have five different elements we have to use that is first one is source array source array means array where the values are present index number from where the value we will store we will start to store copy okay so that is source elements uh, index position destination array where we have to store that is r okay this one is p suppose first one that is r an index number of r that is from 0 0 position and number of elements that means how many number of elements you want to store one example i am taking let's see so here you see this is p this is r so in p suppose we have some elements 5 6 9 11 3 and 2 in this positions are 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and this one this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so total 10 number of elements we can store here that is p so in this case in source array and index array how we will write i will write system dot array copy first source array source array name is p so we will write here p comma index position starts from zero because we are we want to copy from zero okay the destination is r so we will write here r then here also it is the starting destination is zero so we will store zero and how many elements we want to copy six elements so we will write here six so automatically all the elements will store here one by one that is five six nine eleven three two so again when we have another array that is q it is also having six elements so i am preparing here six elements one two three suppose four five six zero one two three four five so zero one two three four five these are index numbers suppose numbers are uh, 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 suppose okay then second index position how we will write so we will write system dot array copy again our source is q here and starting index is 0 source is a uh, destination is r now you see up to 5 we have copied so we will start from here okay so here also we have to make more uh, actually uh, i have taken 6 6 here so i am making more 2 here 9 10 11 so q0 r the starting index will be 
6 and how many elements we have to store 6 so it will be 6 ok so what will happen it will copy the elements here so it will be 15 16 17 18 19 20 like this so this is our program first take import java.util.star semicolon similarly like previous program you take input for six in elements in p and then four elements in q then we have to create another array that is r of 10 elements then we will write these two lines system dot array copy p comma 0 comma r comma 0 comma 6 source index numbers of source destination index number of destination number of elements similarly source destination starting index is 6 because up to 5 we have copied already here then total 4 elements we have to copy and then merge element we have to print that is our program 